It is my greatest pleasure and a privilege as the Dean of the ESSEC Faculty to talk about the Conference on Extreme Events in Finance, a topic that is rapidly gaining popularity both in theoretical and applied disciplines. Besides my institutional role, I'm a professor of statistics and data analysis. As such, I've witnessed how, for several decades, academic research is very often considered, and I dare to say wrongly, extreme events simply as outliers or anomalous observations. The related data were then removed from the empirical analysis, sometimes explained by means of extra statistical considerations, but very rarely modeled. Nowadays, crashes, crises, and extreme conditions happen more regularly, and sometimes even simultaneously, in different domains and in different parts of the world, with a potentially high impact on the daily life of both individuals and the society as a whole. In this new framework, the classical assumptions such as normality, linearity, and stationarity, just to mention a few, are routinely violated, and the complete distributions of events are less and less available. Moreover, we are more and more frequently led to work on spikes and heavy tails. As a consequence, the extreme value theory and analysis cannot be ignored any longer by all sorts of companies, banks, regulators, and more generally, private organizations, and even public bodies. Indeed, the academic research in this area needs to be multidisciplinary, as it is characterized by several advanced technicalities for the theoretical, conceptual, and methodological developments, but also by significant application relevance. At ESSEC, we can boast the contribution provided by professors from different fields such as statistics, mathematics, finance, economics, marketing, and management, among others. This is definitely an asset for us, as we can propose a comprehensive approach to risk analysis and management. At the same time, the pool of professors that have been developing for many years research in extreme events at ESSEC also enjoy the collaboration with a large panel of external partners, such as private and central banks, fund management firms, insurance companies, manufacturers and software developers that operate in an international and multipolar environment. This year's conference on extreme events in finance is highly regarded as ESSEC because it is perfectly inscribed in the tradition of ESSEC values and competencies. Indeed, this conference naturally leads to building bridges between academics and practitioners, between different disciplines, as well as between different actors in different parts of the world, because it has the objective of fostering academic research in a field that is highly demanding and ambitious. Conducting a work that is both methodologically rigorous and practically relevant is indeed a requirement in this field. Finally, my warmest welcome goes to all the attendees, and my deepest gratitude goes to the program chair of the conference, my colleague Francois Longin from the Department of Finance, for having thought of such an event, but also to the members of the scientific committee, as well as to the event partners, for their valuable contributions in making this event possible and successful.